Hello everyone, my name is Mehek. I hope you guys are fine, safe and like always, I also hope that you guys are reading. Uh, back with the book of the week, I finished reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. You must have seen this book online because a lot of people I know who read books and publishers have been just talking about this book and raving how great it is. In fact, the author is quite famous and I'm actually bummed that I discovered her late. Um, just to let you guys know, so it's a love romance novel but it's not your typical romance novel it is quite twisted um so do not expect any cliche romance or love story from this author that is what i've been told the person so i got this book on my birthday and the person who gifted me knows i love reading love stories and she told me this is not your typical cliche love story it's, it's quite different but nevertheless you will enjoy it and i actually did the general theme of the book is that there's this girl who is trying to escape the cycle of uh, domestic abuse or end it and create a safe world for herself and her child. Um, coming to the story now, Lily, who is our main character, she is a character you will fall in love with. I admire her totally. Um, so she's someone who has grown up in an abusive um, household. She's seen her mother suffer at the hands of her father and who's been horrible to her and she's been um, at the suffering end of domestic abuse and violence and that's when uh, you know Lily decides that she's never going to allow um, any man to do that to her you know she's always going to be safe and loved by a man rather than suffer how her mother did so she grows into a really strong independent woman and then you know um, she moves to Boston leaving the horrors of her childhood behind or so she thinks um, now she's in Boston and um, she recently leaves her job. She's working in a marketing firm but she leaves that job and she wants to start a floral business which she ultimately does and is really successful at it. Now while she's in Boston, she meets this really handsome um, and overly ambitious neurosurgeon Ryle. Um, he's our second character and they meet on the terrace and while sharing some naked truths with each other they fall for each other there's this instant attraction and the chemistry is so good you know the the sparks flying between them is amazing and you're like you start rooting for both of them to get together um, and the, the the plus point is that uh, Lily is you know completely um, head over heels for Ryle you know she is really attracted to him and Ryle has a very sweet spot for Lily um, he's also someone who is really brilliant and um, like I said he's ambitious he, he's a neurosurgeon good looking and uh, he's but, he, but he's also stubborn the only problem is that he has commitment issues like he has this no dating rule because he feels that you know it will get in the way of his career and he wants to be this um, well one of the best neurosurgeon in the country and he feels that having a relationship might you know alter his um, his career path or you know will affect his focus so he has this no dating rule but in spite of that they both are attracted to each other and as the story progresses we follow their courtship period how each of them keep bumping and getting attracted to each other so while um, you know um, Lily is overwhelmed by all this situation that although they both are attracted to each other and they want to be together but Ryle has this no dating rule etc etc she kind of goes back to her general uh, her journal entries so when she was a child she used to um, write these letters journal entries and uh, so she goes back to you know reading those journal entries and um, while she's reading that the the thought or um, you know one of a special memory resurf uh, resurfaces so she was in love with this guy called atlas who was her childhood love or her first love atlas was basically a homeless guy who finds place in this abandoned house which was next to lily and lily really helps him out and you know they share this teenage friendship he's mo they most like kindred spirit uh, they both have a very special bond and they spend a lot of time together and uh, which really means a lot to both of them and he was basically her first love so while she's going through all that uh, with Ryle you know while reading these journal entries she starts thinking about Atlas as well and then finally you know what happens is uh, she one day she's in Boston with Ryle and she goes to her restaurant and she bumps into uh, Atlas yes 
So when Atlas comes into uh, Lily's life, everything she holds dear or everything she's looking forward to with Ryle is threatened. And um, but let me tell you guys, you might think at this time, uh, this point that it's going to be a love triangle, but it is not a love triangle. Um, at this point, we reach at the core of the story, which actually contains spoilers. So I'm not going to. um you know talk further about it that what happens ahead because i feel um it's such a sensitive um um topic or the issue that author has spoken through this book and she's tackled it so beautifully and um, tactfully i feel through her words that i would suggest that you guys read it also just talking about it would mean that i would give out the spoilers which i do not want to give but it's a very special story of lily you need to you have to read it in fact not need to you have to read it to find out what happens i'll just tell you that you know um okay i'll just give you a hint um that although lily has these plans that she never wants to be at her mother's place but she does find herself in the same situation but but um uh, the book has a happy ending in fact um, like i said you're going to fall in love with lily's character the kind of conviction and strength she shows i mean i imagine reading the story if i would have been at her place i would have come up with all the excuses and maybe i would have been so strong you know your the character lily she so strong she stands up for what she feels right and um, yeah i mean she overcomes all her fears so that's very ad- admirable about the character and uh, lastly i would just like to say that it's like i said earlier it's not your typical romance novel but it's a book that really moves you you know it moves you it's a tear jerker you you feel like crying there is so much love in the book great characters there's friendship um the the bonds that lily and her mother share everything is great in this book um and it really moves you it really and it tells you i think the the parting message is that I wouldn't say that's a parting message but it also tells you that you know people we love the most are the ones that hurt us the most you know and in life there are situations when we find ourselves uh in that spot where we we realize that you know the person who loves us can also hurt us the most so yeah that's all on this wonderful wonderful book I really hope you guys read it I'm excited to read more books by this author yeah I'm going to see you guys next week with another title till then take care bye bye